In this two-part vlog, I am taking you to the teeny tiny country of Bahrain. Look at that! And obviously the hallmark of Middle East. Hiyakum fil Bahrain! Welcome to Bahrain! It's been 35 to 38 every day. Super harsh, sunny. Welcome to Bahrain! This teeny tiny island country is quite fascinating because not a lot of people visit and honestly not a lot of people actually know about it. So I decided to come here and hear all the travel things that you need to know about Bahrain before coming here to make your trip absolutely perfect. So we'll give you tips on visa, money, language, blah, 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 everything, as well as some extra tips. So let's start this video. And yeah, do reach out to me if you have any further questions. Let's start. Let's talk about visas for Bahrain. Now, it's quite easy generally to get a visa. They have a fairly liberal policy. A lot of European and North American countries don't need a visa. And I think they have an e-visa policy. But the one thing, I didn't need one, by the way. So when I arrived and I didn't know this, they asked for a five Bahraini dinar visa fee, which is absolutely fine, but it wasn't mentioned anywhere. And the tricky part is they actually wanted to take it on card. So be prepared for that. I don't know if they take dollars. I don't know if they take cash, but that was what was uh, demanded. Luckily, I could use my card internationally, so that wasn't a problem. Yeah, come prepared. Visa is easy. Let's talk about money. So this is Bahraini Dinar, or BD as it's lovingly called here. And this is the second strongest currency in the world after Kuwaiti Dinar. So one is roughly equal to 2.2527 pounds right now, close to two and a half dollars for every single one of them. And that's a little crazy because I started feeling poor the moment I landed. <laughs> the second thing is that it's not quoted in two decimal places, actually three decimal places. So you will see the prices in three decimal places and that's common. That's how it works here. Now it is an expensive country and ATMs are fairly easy. They're pretty much everywhere. I would do this from the, um, from the airport, no problems there. And then I've been using my card everywhere as well, which is really common, but I would recommend keeping some cash because you will need it for taxis, etc. So yeah, it is an expensive country. You will need some good money if you want to go around. Tours are expensive. Getting around is quite expensive. So come prepared for that. Yeah, it's not a cheap destination. Getting around in Bahrain is a little complicated. So if you hire a car, you're golden. You can pretty much go anywhere else, anywhere but traffic is a little crazy in the evening, so be careful with that, but it's still orderly. Now, if you're using public transport, it's not very extensive. The schedule is not, there's not a lot of information on it. I use Google and yeah, the buses don't come on time at all. So I would recommend using Google, uh, sorry, Uber, not Google, because that way you will get a car at a good price because the local taxis are ridiculously expensive, much more than London. And here's another tip for the public transport. Buses are a convenient way to go around the city centers. I don't think they're very extensive down south of the country. And also, when you come, the first section is for ladies and that section is for gents. So, a little bit of segregation, keep that in mind. There are three companies that provide SIMs here. All of them are at the airport in the arrivals. You can just get it from them. There's not a lot of difference, actually, pretty much no difference when it comes to prices and packages. I spent about seven and a half Bahraini dinar and I got 24 gigabytes data for an entire month. Nothing less than that. Also, internet works really fine. Reception is pretty good everywhere. It's a relatively small country, so that's not a problem at all. Internet also works really good, except for the Wi-Fi. 
in the hotels and in the cafes etc that's a little slow i guess you're not here to use internet unless you're working remotely right so i would recommend stc because that's what i've used and it's worked really well The official language of Bahrain is Arabic, but English is really widely spoken, especially with the younger generation. All restaurants, cafes have menus in English, all the signage is also in English, so communication has not been a problem at all. If you speak like Hindi or Urdu or Bangla or Filipino language, I think it will also be very easy to communicate because a lot of the service staff speaks those languages, so you will have no problem whatsoever. I don't know whether the people of Bahrain are friendly or not because it's very hard to meet them even in their own country. So uh, I met a couple of guys who were really nice and friendly. Everyone else, I have absolutely no idea. Women are especially hard to talk to. So I would recommend every time you take a photo or a video or something, please make sure you give them a warning so they can cover their face or get out of the frame or whatever. That's respectful and I, I would definitely recommend being careful with that. It's not the same as interacting with women on the other side. Unless they offer their hand, you just shake your head, you know, and that's the hello. Now, um, society here is a little bit different, but it's, it's a pretty common thing in GCC countries. So you have the North Americans, white Europeans, different, completely different, hanging out spots, etc. Locals, different life, and then you have the people who came here as labor and they've settled down or still work as labor and they have no mingling in all three of them it's very difficult so yeah if you come here i hope you have better luck than me when it comes to meeting the people of Barry. Bahrain is perfectly safe to visit and because it's a kingdom there's a lot of security in all in all places and crime serious crime especially is unheard of and police is you know out to get help you whatever you need but that also means a lot of security presence everywhere but that's not a problem at all they're generally quite a friendly bunch um, there's another thing that I would say and that is to stay away from trouble with locals but Bahrain is fairly liberal compared to the other GCC countries so I don't think applies that much here but still stay out of trouble Choosing the best time to visit Bahrain is absolutely essential. I chose the beginning of October thinking of things would have cooled down by now. It's been 35 to 38 every day, super harsh, sunny. And yeah, I've been running from air conditioner to air conditioner. So I would recommend if you're coming here, choose late November to early February. That's the time that you will have a good time here. And there's only one week of winter here in the entire year. So hopefully you don't catch that, but yeah. Um, early December, late January is a good bet. That's the best time to visit. If you're coming to Bahrain, I would recommend around three days, which is a fairly good amount of time to go around, soak up some of the culture, try some food, and also see most of the stuff because honestly, it's a fairly small country and you run out of things fairly quickly. I have one extra day, I'll be spending it in the spa. If you have more time, you know what to do. It's also a good party place, if that's your thing, make sure you come on the weekend. Drinking water is not potable in Bahrain, unfortunately, and you have to rely on bottled water. Try to avoid these teeny ones and get the bigger bottles. Drink a lot of water here, seriously, because you will be sweating quite a lot, even without you knowing sometimes. And if you um, sweat a lot, try to make sure that you get enough salts, otherwise you won't be able to sleep properly. Do you want to travel with me? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. and I'll bring you more amazing off the beaten path travel destinations.
make sure you are dressed appropriately when you're visiting mosques, anything to, that's to do with religion. For everything else, Bahrain is surprisingly very liberal. Like I've been going around on the beach, you know, in shorts, not a word said. And I've seen, you know, people roaming around with like, you know, shorts, etc. No problem whatsoever, but I think you need to be a little bit more respectful culturally. So also it's really, really hot. So wear something loose and baggy and you will be absolutely fine. Also, obviously bring loads of sunscreen and protection for yourself add sunglasses because yeah you will need it here yeah, i promise you the weekend in bahrain is not saturday sunday it's actually friday and saturday sunday is a working day so if you're planning something based on the weekend keep that in mind the best way to explore bahrain is by waking up super early before it gets hot go out do your exploring go back in when it's siesta time and then go out again but the sunsets here are fairly early like five half five so and it gets dark really quickly so you don't want to spend too much time in the morning staying in bed you can do that in the evening i'm sure you want to know more about bahrain so click on the link above to check out my bahrain playlist Bahrain has a reputation as a party country. So people from GCC countries, apart from Dubai maybe, they come here because alcohol is legal here. You can go to bars, you can go to clubs, dance. So you will see cars flooding in from Saudi, from Kuwait on the weekend. So people can come party, which means things get really busy. So if you want to party, I would definitely recommend booking your whatever, the restaurant, lounge, bar, club in advance because they prefer it that way here. This is Brown Boy Travels and I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to find out some more cool destinations, do follow me on Instagram and TikTok and obviously subscribe on YouTube so I can bring you beautiful destinations every week. I will see you at another gorgeous place in the next video. Until then, you have a beautiful day ahead. Bye.